Dear friends, greetings of the day. Myself, Dr. Raju Ratan Vadekar, Assistant Professor, Shri Vile Pade Kelvani Mandals, Institute of Pharmacy, Dhule. I welcome you all for the lecture 4 for the course Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry 2, Unit 1, Metabolic Pathways in Higher Plants and the Determination. Disclaimer, this presentation is meant for educational purpose only. The content of the presentation is taken from e-sources as well as from author's learning experience and subject knowledge. Dear friends, in this pathway, we will study and discuss acetate pathway and formation of secondary metabolites from acetate pathway. Dear friends, acetate pathway are of two types or it follows two different pathways for the biosynthesis of two respective primary metabolites as well as two respective secondary metabolites. Number one, acetate mevolonate pathway and second one is acetate malonate pathway. So we will discuss. So acetate pathway are of two types. So it follows number one pathway that is acetate mevolonate pathway and second one is acetate malonate pathway. What is the basic difference between these two? The very first is acetate mevalonate pathway is responsible for the biosynthesis of primary metabolites such as cholesterol and lanesterol. These primary metabolites further their metabolism yields secondary metabolites in their same plants such as cardiac glycosides uh, namely digitoxin as well as diogenin and digitoxin diogenin etc. Whereas acetate mevalonate pathway involves the biosynthesis of primary metabolites such as fatty acids, saturated, unsaturated and polyunsaturated fatty acids. These primary metabolites like fatty acids then further metabolize to form the secondary metabolites in the plants which yields secondary components like vitamin E, oils, fats and waxes etc. And all these primary as well as secondary metabolites are equally important in the plants which are biosynthesized in the plant cells via enzyme mediated chemical reaction. So we will study one by one acetate pathway. Acetate number one acetate mevalonate pathway. In acetate mevalonate pathway also known as isoprenoid pathway because it forms isoprene molecules or isopentyl pyrophosphate as one of the primary metabolite intermediate or HMG-CoA reductase pathway is an essential metabolic pathway present in eukaryotes, archaea as well as in some bacteria because bacteria also requires fatty acids for its overall growth and development as well as for the uh, biosynthesis of the lipidal layer or cell wall. The mevalonate pathway begins with the acetyl-CoA. Now from where we get this acetyl-CoA? Dear friends, in every organism when glucose is formed or as a biosynthesis of glucose is formed in plants as well as in bacteria or say in this food primary metabolite, we will take example in plants. So in plants when glucose is formed via photosynthesis or it is biosynthesis, biosynthesizes in the plant, this glucose undergoes again glucose 6-phosphate as we already discussed in lecture 3. So this glucose undergoes uh, metabolism via glucose 6-phosphate then phosphoenol pyruvate then pyruvate now this pyruvate forms again a one intermediate called as acetyl coa and when the two molecules of acetyl coa react with one molecule of acetyl coa it forms acetoacetyl coa and the building blocks of this acetoacetyl coa with each other with head to tail condensation will leads to formation of two to five carbon building blocks called as isopentyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate DMAPP which are used to make isoprenoid units a diverse class of over 30,000 biomolecules such as cholesterol, vitamin K and all steroidal hormones in the plant cells. Cell compartment include mitochondria, chloroplast, endoplasmic reticulum, peroxysmol, the nucleus and the cytosol wherein these all processes carried out of acetate mevalonate pathway for the biosynthesis of uh, various steroids and cholesterol molecules via mevalonate pathway. In 1950, acetyl-CoA enzyme 
called as active acetate was discovered and further supported the role of acetic acid in biogenetic pathways thereafter mauronic acid was found to be associated with acetate it was hypothesized and then it was proved through various biosynthetic studies that mauronic acid get associated with the acetic group of the acetyl coenzyme a and thereafter it introduce or it produces isopentyl pyrophosphate and its isomer that is dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate which further leads to biosynthesis of cholesterol like molecules and steroids as well these two main intermediate set the active isoprene unit as a basic building blocks of isoprene compounds however both of these units yields giralyl pyrophosphate that is monoterpene which further in association with ipp produce phenacyl pyrophosphate or that is also known as cisquiterpene these acetate myelin pathways through ipp and dmapp via squalene biosynthesis two different skeleton containing compounds such as cholesterol steroids and triterpenoids my dear friends triterpenoids are nothing but the volatile oil containing compounds which are also biosynthesized via acetate myelinate pathway for example carotenoids polyphenols terpenoids or volatiles which are nothing but the secondary metabolites which form or which biosynthesizes via primary metabolism process of glucose thereafter uh, formation of ipp and dmapp so this is the uh, schematic presentation or flow chart please your attention primary metabolites there is glucose again glucose 6 phosphate which undergoes uh, further metabolism to yield 3 phosphoglycerate and then phospho phosphoenol pyruvate this pyruvate is acetyl coa what happens to this acetyl coa is that to this acetyl coa one molecule of malonic acid and one molecule of malonate is attached okay through various enzymatic reaction which further give respect to type of primary and secondary metabolites dear students if you explain this much also it will help you to understand that how acetate pathway is divided into two different active biosynthetic pathway step 1 biosynthesis of cholesterol that is primary metabolites and steroid which is secondary metabolite via acetate myelin pathway what exactly is happening over here is acetyl coa as we as we already studied in last slide that acetyl coa comes from pyruvate now this acetyl coa will react with the acetoacetyl thiolase enzyme which will come across and which will yield acetoacetyl coa so one molecule of acetyl coa and another molecule of acetyl coa in the presence of enzyme thiolase is aceto aceto acetyl coa now in presence of enzyme hmg co synthase that is hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl synthase coa it will form beta hydroxyl beta methyl glutaryl compound coa and this under reduction process gives rise to formation of mevalonic acid or mevalonate which in presence of the enzyme mevalonate three kinase leads mevalonate 3 phosphate in next slide to this mevalonate okay and mevalonate 3 phosphate there are the two compounds will form mevalonate in presence of enzyme 5 kinase yields phosphomevalonate and then mevalonate pyrophosphate it will yield isopentyl pyrophosphate at the same time mevalonate 3 phosphate which is form to which 3 phosphate 5 kinase mevalonate will act to yield mevalonate 3,5 phosphate now mevalonate 3,5 phosphate which is a major intermediate which on further decarboxylase enzyme yields isopentyl phosphate then this isopentyl phosphate undergoes kinase isopentyl phosphate kinase enzyme gives rise to formation of isopentyl pyrophosphate so mevalonate pyrophosphate and isopentyl pyrophosphate kinase enzyme give rise to formation of one molecule of isopentyl pyrophosphate and this isopentyl pyrophosphate forms its own isomerase enzyme in presence of isomerase enzyme is dimethyl allyl phosphate so when two molecules of isopentyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate give rise to formation of geranyl pyrophosphate which further yields is phenacyl pyrophosphate now acyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl pyrophosphate il geranyl pyrophosphate and geranyl pyrophosphate again react with isopentyl pyrophosphate molecule to give rise to formation of one molecule of phenacyl pyrophosphate dear friends in the plant cells 
this phenacyl pyrophosphate react with the another molecule of phenacyl pyrophosphate to give a sequence of squalene and this squalene will lead to production of cholesterol and steroid in the plant cells via acetate maulonate pathway now next pathway is acetate malonate pathway in this pathway fatty acids are produced via the acetate pathway so acetate pathway is a pathway where the acetate unit is a precursor for the biosynthesis of fatty acids so fatty acids are carboxylic acids with long chain hydrocarbons the hydrocarbon chain length vary from 10 to 30 carbons fatty acids are also called as aliphatic fatty acids are also important source of energy stored in the form of triglycerides and act as intermediate in biosynthesis of polyketides and hormones acetate malonate pathway responsible for the biosynthesis of fatty acids and the derivatives are useful in manufacturing of food cosmetics and toiletry preparations fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated so saturated fatty acids like propionic acid butyric acid etc unsaturated fatty acids oleic acid linoleic acid so drugs containing fatty acids like almond castor oil currant oil seed oil these different nature of fatty acids present castor oil and currant oil currant will act differently and thereby they are having huge medicinal value biosynthesis of fatty acids saturated fatty acids are synthesized by a series of decarboxylative glycine condensation reaction between acetyl coa and malonyl coa my dear friends malonyl coa is already present in the plant cells which react with the acetyl coa molecule in the presence of the enzyme fast that is called as fatty acid synthase and this molecule acetyl coa and malonyl coa get attached with the enzyme synthase sites uh, site called as acyl carrier protein as a part of its structure and thereby the link goes on increasing to form a elongated ring structure called as beta keto group is reduced to the fully saturated carbon chain by the sequential action of enzyme keto reductase dehydrogenase and enol reductase so one molecule of acetyl coa react with the one molecule of malonyl coa to in the presence of enzyme fatty acid synthase which yields further polyketo fatty acids fatty acid synthase starts with acetyl coa acetyl coa which is a two carbon containing precursor this process occurs in cytosol of the plant cell during this biosynthesis the growing fatty acid chain gets attached covalently to the phosphophantine prostate group of acp that is acyl carrier protein of fatty acid synthase which allows intermediate to remain covalently linked to the synthase and assist this mal malonyl coa to malonyl acp acp synthase is an enzyme that holds the growing fatty acid chain acyl enzyme thioester releases two carbon unit to malonyl acp to form fatty acid acp through sequence of reduction dehydration and reaction This fatty acyl ACP on attack of water generate fatty acids and triglycerides are formed with further esterification process. So malonyl CoA in presence of uh, acetyl CoA or malonyl ACP uh, in glycine reaction or fa fatty acid synthase then it leads to formation of beta keto acyl ACP which forms unsaturated acyl ACP which undergoes formation of fatty acyl ACP. which when uh, removal of water molecule gives one molecule of fatty acids whereas this fatty acyl coa with esterification gives rise to formation of triglycerides which are nothing but fatty acids in the plant cells which further leads to the production of cholesterol as well as fatty acids brief summary of this acetate pathway is acetate pathway Yields fatty acids and steroids via mevalonate and malonate pathway, respectively. The secondary metabolites biosynthesized via primary metabolites are aromatic amino acids from alkaloids such as tropane, al uh, such as alkaloids such as tropane indole, aliphatic amino acids yields alkaloids and glycosides, and fatty acids precursor for the biosynthesis of steroids, phyto hormones, cholesterol, and squalene. Thus, biosynthetic pathway is useful guideline to study the process of primary and secondary plant products, metabolism process, and synthesis. This is a question bank for you all. I request all the students to please refer lecture number five for unit one 
to study the utilization of radioactive isotopes in the investigation of biogenetic studies. Thank you very much.